All right, things are going pretty well with the build, and uh, now I'm just gonna get ready to start with the AB idlers now that the AB drives are done. Okay, so for the AB idler parts, you're going to need uh, two of the M335 uh, button head screws. You're gonna need the 3D printed parts. You can see here. You're going to need four of the bearings and then some of our favorite shims here. First thing you're going to be doing is inserting the M35, M335 screw into the part, both sides. And they should, at least on these, they're staying a little bit better, which is nice. And both of these basically need a shim and then a bearing and a bearing and a shim. Okay, I've got the first one built. So again, shim and then a bearing. Another bearing, make sure you get the right orientation. And then a shim goes on top. All right. And on the next part, the larger piece of the two gets this smaller piece on top. Unfortunately, my screw keeps wanting to pop out. Same process on this piece. Just flip it over. There you have it. All right. So next up, um, before we pre uh, before we attach the idlers to these extrusions with the M3 taps here at the end, we're going to uh, need to preload some uh, nuts into the extrusion. Okay, as you may be able to see here, I've went ahead and preloaded four nuts into that extrusion. Now I'm going to be attaching the idlers to these end pieces. Okay, the one on the front left is the one with the uh, higher idler here, um, whereas the other side is going to get the one where the idler sits lower. And you're also going to need to put a screw in here and here, and those will go in through the preloaded nuts from an earlier step. All right, and with that, now we have the AB idlers installed.